So I'm always being asked, what is the best flamenco guitar you can buy under that 1000 price tag? For a long time, I used to say that was the Yamaha CG182SF, which costs about 400 to 500 pounds new, and I featured in the previous comparison video that I did. However, after trying several guitars closer to that 1000 price tag, I would like to present to you and compare two different guitars that I think are the best. The Juan Montes Flamenco Red Gum model and the Francisco Marlon Navarro student model. In this video, we'll take a closer look at each model. We'll think about their costs, their strengths, and their weaknesses. And then of course, we're going to do a sound test. We're going to do a back-to-back -back comparison with different flamenco styles. I'll play some rumba, some fandango, spuleria, and solea. To try and make things fair, I've put a new set of strings on both guitars, the Sonatina Equinox Medium Tension Strings. And we'll be recording with the Yeti Nano Microphone with no post-production other than a touch of compression added. Okay, so first let's think about the Juan Montes guitar. New, this guitar costs £600 from FL Waves in Sevilla, Andalusia. However, I did get the guitar professionally modified with Whitner pegs, which along with the work required cost an extra £200, bringing the total cost to around £800. This is still a very reasonable price for a guitar constructed all with solid wood. In terms of its sound, I would say it has a modern flamenco tone. It's well-rounded, deep and rich. The volume is quite loud with plenty of bass, but it's still punchy and raspy. The notes resonate well and create plenty of overtones, which unfortunately your computer or phone speakers probably won't do justice to. All I can say is every time I pick up this guitar and play, it brings a smile to my face. Obviously it looks amazing and the build quality of this model is very high and I love its playability. The action is low and the neck is thin. The only thing which I did wish it had, and this is subjective, are fret markers on the upper side of the fretboard. I personally find them a useful reference when playing difficult pieces or when using a capo. Now let's think about the Novaro guitar. New, this guitar cost £892 from Memorial Music in Houston, Texas, but granted that will vary depending on exchange rates. Again, it's all solid wood. Now, if you love that traditional flamenco sound you get from Cypress Wood, this is the guitar for you. The sound is raw and raspy, it's punchy and responsive. The notes are defined and percussive. It is, however, slightly quieter than the Juan Montes. Visually, it's a beautiful guitar, and it plays incredibly well having a low action and thin neck. I would say that the neck is slightly thicker than the Juan Montes guitar, uh, but for me, this is neither good or bad. But overall, I would say the build quality of the Navarro is slightly better than the Juan Montes guitar. And I can't tell exactly what it is, but I do find this guitar slightly easier to play. So I hope that gives you a good overview of each guitar. But enough talking, let's see how they sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please drop it a like and check out some of the other guitar videos that I've recorded too. And if you are just starting out with learning Spanish guitar styles, check out my online course, Introduction to Spanish Guitar Techniques. Take care, guys.